Can I decide where to go? Where are we going? Thank you all so much for coming here today. So, um, well... Hey! We can't hear you at all! Can't you speak a bit louder? <gasps> I'm so, so, so sorry! <sighs> so, uh, I'd like to sh start the Shevet Changes meeting. Don't talk like a fool. She's fumbling all her words. If she thinks that kind of speech is cute at her age, yikes! A at my age? Oh dear. I know I'm not exactly the youngest thing around, but... Okay, enough cutie pies. It's cruel to tease her about it too much. Can't we hurry this meeting up? I'm a very busy man with a very busy schedule to keep. Who even called this meeting? I came a long way, so if it's about something trivial, someone's dead. 
Um, the one who called today's meeting was m me. Get out of town! You? Uh, I'm sorry about that. It was impudent of me to call you all here. Enough. This meeting will drag on if you get spooked by every little comment. Still, having little Ray give us a call is rare. Something big must have happened. Yes, something has. I can't confirm the info and I haven't gathered any evidence, but I feel it's highly credible, so... Enough procedural nonsense. Out with it. Uh, okay. Actually, a, a new CPU has appeared in Planetune. What? Are you certain of this? R rather, ha had appeared. Or may have appeared, it seems. Or so it feels. Speak with certainty! Speak with unbridled passion! Appeared! A new CPU appeared in Planetune! I can't be asked to believe it just yet. But if true, this is quite a conundrum. Planetune, huh? What do you make of this? Two CPUs in a nation that would topple from a single sneeze? How can I believe this? Say what you like, but it's completely true. Maybe. So, who's your informant? How'd you get this info? Uh, that's... well... Nothing like that has gotten stuck in my web of information. I hate to say it, but I highly doubt that little Ray here could get information before me. Well, um, that is to say, due to some profound circumstances... I will only warn you once. If you attempt to deceive me, you had better be prepared to die. There's... there's no way I'd ever try to deceive you! That... that would be outrageous! Still, it needs to be verified. It's quite a shocker, if true. A shock it got by me, that is. Uh, oh, um... I'm sorry. How would you confirm this crap, too? I'd rather pick Billy Lynn than follow up on this sketchy story. For these kinds of blue-collar situations, I think we all know who would be appropriate. Hmm? Oh, did that noisy little brat decide not to join us today? It's a welcome change of pace. Her shrieking blows my eardrums. A actually, I let her know about it before this meeting. Then she ran off without hearing the rest of my report, even though I tried to stop her. Ha! Impatient little twerp! Either way, it simplifies matters. We'll just wait for her to get back and then discuss further. So, we wait for now, huh? I hope it isn't a waste of time. And here I wanted to hurry back to the office and work late again. Oh, hey! I'm starved! When do the caterers get here? Yeah, it's only polite for the one who calls the meeting to provide the others with food! Chuck, chuck, chuck! Huh? But whenever any of you called one, there wasn't even a pitcher of water. You want to say that again? Care to voice that complaint a bit louder? Not at all. I'll prepare something right away. Oh, I see. These seven sages are the villains this time around. Were you really listening? Are you sure you understand? Why so skeptical? I definitely said, oh, I see. Okay, then paraphrase what I just went over with you. Ooh, I'll take this as a challenge. I'll gladly face you, player two. So, the seven whatevers don't like CPUs ruling the nations and whine a lot and say bad stuff, right? So far, so good. Therefore, I conclude that those folks are the bad guys. Ta-da! Flawless victory! You cut out the whole second half. It's not that simple. I knew you stopped paying attention. Ah, uh, okay. You got me. Huh? Nephi gave the wrong answer? Do you mean to say that you stopped listening to me too? Um... That one girl who picks on me is the Seven Sages, right? I don't like her. 
And you clearly only get about half of the situation, too. Fine. I'll explain again. I might even talk longer this time. So make a sandwich and listen. Oh, really? Can't we, like, mash through the boring stuff with the X button? I'm not very good at mashing. I prefer the skip function. So let's press the square button. You will listen to my plot advancing lecture. Got it? Okay. Good. The Seven Sages is a shadowy organization that gets its name from having seven head members. Their platform advocates proper laws, and they want to found a nation free from CPU governance. Of course, because they believe that, they're against the very existence of CPUs. Ever since Plutia created Planet 2, she's been harassed by them several times. Their operations are said to have started 10 years ago. Any more info is vague and pretty sparse. As for the seven heads of the group, only one is known to the public. It's even rumored they have a hand in criminal activities behind the scenes, but there's no proof. And that thing I said about them having some connection to Louis? That's one of those rumors. But apparently, a good number of people agree with their ideals. So we can't say with 100% certainty that they're evil. So, that was a pretty amazing summary. Did you get all that? Uh... Hmm... Oh! There's a picture of you two next to the definition of wasted effort. I'm so tired now. Ah, Pluty, did you hear that? Noir just gave up on us. Aw, don't give up on us. You two are so noisy. Just look up the stupid Nepedia entry later. Noir, you're such an ice queen. And your explanations are so roundabout and hard to understand. That's a fact. It's easier on our noggins to call them the bad guys. The, uh, um, oh, the seven stages. The seven stages are bad. Seven sages? Oh, jeez, how can you forget that name so fast? Gothunk! I found you! Whoa, who's this broad? Clutie, we have a visitor. Speak of the tiny devil. It's the meanie! Uh-huh. So you're the one. Hm. I see. Hmm. Well, what's with this kid? I feel like you're unzipping my vest with your eyeballs. Ew. Wait, she's here for Neptune? Oh, in that case, sorry, but I don't feel like dealing with her. Oh, me neither. Sorry, Neppy. What? You two are gonna leave my party? Come on, don't do that! I guess you appear to be a teen, but your body is so underdeveloped. Hmm. All right, you're a little girl! Inconceivable! A girl smaller than me just called me a little girl! And to think they would allow such a young and naive little girl to work as a CPU! It's unjust! It's brutish! It violates internet! I'll never forget Planetune! Yikes! Now she's going on a tirade! What's the deal? Why do I gotta sit and nod while a little girl I don't know makes fun of me? Did you just call me a little girl? How am I little, huh? Only little girls call others names. If that's your killer comeback, you're definitely a little girl. I mean, you said it to me first. You said it again! Oh! That's twice! I'll never forgive you for this slight! Oh, you want to challenge me to a duel? I won't lose in a cat fight. Ow! You hit me! I got hit by a stupid little girl! <laughs> You're no match for me. You need about a hundred years of training before you can insult me, little girl. Ah, you did it again! <laughs> Ooh, Nappy is so strong. More like her opponent is embarrassingly weak. I see. Instead of arguing, she just smacked her in the mouth. No way I could have done that. I... I can't believe it! 
It's illegal to hurt little girls! You'll pay dearly for this! You just admitted to being a little girl. I guess I win. No, 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 no! That, that was just... <laughs> I knew you were just a little baby girly girl. <laughs> Neppy, that might have been a bit too much gloating. She's immature, even compared to this kid. Why are you two yelling at me? You abandoned me, so I had to fight back. I had no choice. Now, now, don't cry. That's a good little girl. Jeez, looks like Neptune had her claws out. Oh, there's a blood smear. Poor little thing. Huh? I'm being shunned, aren't I? Me. I won't accept charity from my sworn enemies. Ouchies! Don't get an attitude, we're just trying to help. Shut your stupid mouth! I see Planetune has finally shown its true colors. You make children work and you react violently when criticized. What a bad influence for kids! You started it. I'm not a child. You always come here, make a big fuss, and then toss around false accusations. Shut up! I'm on a mission to protect every single child in the whole wide world. That means I am in the right. Therefore, all who oppose me are big pedophiles and gross weirdos! Um, worst logic ever. More importantly, that woman's information was correct. I can't believe we're evenly matched. She made you cry. How is that anywhere close to even? It was a flawless victory for Nappy. Shut up, I said! Ahem! Well, I completed my investigation. You're the new CPU here, right? Ooh, has my awesome reputation reached even this little girl I've never seen before? I'm flattered, but if I get too famous, my private life will... Too much charisma is a curse. <laughs> She's not a CPU. What? Uh, Noir, don't shoot me down so fast. She totally thought I was a CPU. But she's right. You can't even transform. What? Oh, not you too, Plutie. You shouldn't crush a poor little girl's dreams like that. You're not a CPU? Then how did I lose? Because you're weak. Maybe because you're weak. Less bark and bite than a doggoo. Oh. Yo! What is your name? You didn't catch it? Neptune. Neptune. I won't forget that name. Oh, hang on, kid. I think it's rude to adults when you demand a name without giving your own. Fine, I'll tell you just this once. I am the Seven Sieges Idol and Public Relations Manager. You may call me Abnis. Introductory graphic text? What the heck, developers? I didn't get one when I appeared. I can't wait to talk about this in excruciating detail at the next Seven Sages meeting. If we seriously tried, we could bury this nation under regulatory red tape before you could blink. Be prepared. And there she goes. It's so not fair that she got a cool logo. She's just some weak kid. If someone like her is one of the leaders of the Seven Sages, maybe they're all pushovers. Well, if you assume they're all like that girl, sure. But we don't know anything about the others. It's so good you're here, Nappy. Every other time she comes, that girl teases me over and over. Idiots can't handle difficult conversations, thus the violence. Every tool has its use. <laughs> you flatter me. Wait, that was a compliment, right? Sure, why not? She might come back to complain about what happened, so you can handle her then, Neptune. Please 
please protect us, Nappy? Uh, um, okay. It's nice to be relied on, but I feel like I'm being taken advantage of. Lovely frame wasn't built for hard labor. Don't make such weird excuses. Plutia is the CPU and you're just some random moocher. You're both in positions where you ought to be working ten times harder than I am. Yikes, that's harsh. You're so strict, Noir. Not even Isti has ever been that hard on me. Only people who are pushed to work hard will become successful. Who's this Isti person you mention every now and then? Yeah, I'm kind of curious too. Is she your history teacher? Heck no. She's more like a coach than a teacher, if that makes sense. Ooh, you're so good with synonyms, Nappy. It doesn't matter what term you use, we're asking who she is. Hmm, how do I explain it? Isti is the oracle for my nation. She floats on a book and is real smart, but kind of weird, too. She's always telling me to work. I don't know if she's what we'd call a human, though. Okay, enough. I think I got the gist of it. You do? Wow, Noir. You are so amazing. I guess you don't get it, then. Behold! for I am wearing my shocked face. It's not that I understood you, but there's someone living here very similar to who you described. She floats, is smart but a little bit odd, and yells at everyone to get to work. Hmm? Oh, that's right. She sounds like Eastwar. I'm glad you finally understand. Wait, you said Eastwar? Plutia! Plutia! Please open the door! Her timing couldn't be better. <gasps> that voice! It's way more lolly than the one I'm used to, but could that possibly be? Welcome home, Eastwar! Phew! They finally made it back! Holy floating gravy boats! You took so long. Where did you go? I went shopping at the general store just outside the city. That's an hour's walk, Max. Yes, but they had a deal on AA batteries, and when bought in bulk become quite a heavy burden. Due to that, my return trip took me about three days. Push yourself when you're so itty bitty. You're a weird one, Iswar. I fail to see why my anecdote is amusing. Hmm? This is a new face. Who is she? This is Nappy, my new friend. Is that so? I have a strange feeling that she and I have met somewhere before. Oops, where are my manners? I'm the one who guides the CPU of this nation, Eastwar. You're... you're Isti. A teeny tiny bite-sized Isti. Ah! What is the matter with 
you. Please refrain from embracing me without warning. So flippin' cute. It's a handheld ISTE. Mini ISTE. Oh, man. This is the best thing ever. So ISTE... is... histoire? Looks that way. But she keeps calling her small for some reason. Oh, but Isti sounds so cute. I like that nickname. I'm going to start calling her that too. I am having trouble breathing. Help me, you two. Uh-oh. Isti is gonna get smushed. Yeah, we need to stop Neptune. Come on, let her go already. What a frightening ordeal! You must not grab someone and squeeze them with all your might! <laughs> Sorry about that. I couldn't help it, because you're just so cute and tiny. So basically, if you had a cute and furry pet or something, you'd end up accidentally killing it. Hey, can I take her home with me? If I set her next to Big Isti, it'd make for a really great postcard. There's a big Isti, too? Wow! Can we trade for a bit? Please do not trade me like a toy! So, Neptune, was it? Yep. I guess you don't know who I am either, huh, Mini Isti? I do not. Well, I do not believe so, but I feel a strange tug in my heart. Really? So maybe you do know me in your little heart of hearts. No, no. It is not like that. May I hear your situation in as much detail as you can muster? Sure. I see. So where you come from, you are a CPU. Noir and I also exist there. That's the truth. I thought Noir was pretending that she didn't recognize me at first. This Noir's actually a clone, and you're all teeny tiny now, so I don't know what to believe anymore. I know I've mentioned it before, but stop calling me things like a clone and a phony. I see. If it is like that, could it be? No, I mustn't rule out the possibility. Hmm. Smoking from the head again, Isti. Are you okay? You're not trying to process something beyond your capabilities, are you? Huh? Mini Isti has low specs? So they went with convenience over performance when they built her? I am crunching some very large numbers, so please refrain from poking fun at me. So that means... Yes! I believe that is the only logical conclusion. Which is, don't act satisfied on your own, print it out or whatever you do. It is merely conjecture, but... Neptune, it is possible that you have come here from a different dimension. Uh, holy crap -a -roni. This is complete nonsense. No, no. We were all supposed to shout in disbelief at the same time. Didn't you get the memo? I'll never believe such an insane explanation. Istuar, this girl's just feeding us a giant crop, so you don't have to take her story seriously. It's no croc. I'm a CPU, and also this entire franchise's main character. Were she lying, it would be easy to expose her. There are hints of reality in her words. Plus, it is the only way for me to explain the mysterious bond I have toward Neptune. Hey, so... What's a different dimension? Istuar, you're tired from that shopping trip. You might have blown a gasket or something. No, tell me how I can get back home. You've got to know, Mini Isti. Please do not all speak to me at once. I, I must think. First, we must verify that you are indeed from another dimension. And how are we supposed to do that? It's impossible. All things are possible. 
What? If another Istuar exists in Neptune's dimension, then I should be able to communicate with her. Wow, crazy amazing! When did you download that app? Wow. So we can talk to the big Isti? Please wait a moment while I attempt to establish a connection. Okay, thanks and stuff. Beep. Ding, 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 ha. Ba-bum. Ba-bum. Dong, dong, dong. Oh, fine. Do whatever you want. Hello. No connection yet. This is taking longer than dial-up. Please do not speak to me now. This is not something that can be done quickly. Communicating with another dimension will take me... Um, about three days. That long? How about we aim for three minutes? Try harder. We want to communicate. Please do not request the impossible from me. Also, I will be unable to move or speak until I establish a link. Therefore, I ask that you do not cause mischief for a few days. Pardon me. Hey, wait! I have more talking to do! Searching for network... Establishing link... Searching for network... Well, junk in my trunk. She's like a frozen computer. Oh, oh. Wow, she doesn't move at all. She's like one of my dolls. <laughs> Maybe I'll put some different clothes on her. Stop it. She said not to bother her for a few days, so let's leave her alone, okay? Once this fails, Istoire will know that Neptune is lying. This is where you shall decide. 